What's up, everybody? It's your girl, One, the CEO, and I'm back another week, another fire segment. This segment is going to be very high vibrational. So I need you guys to buckle up your seatbelts because you're now plugged in, tuned in, tapped in to Outside the Box. back and this week we have something special we have a young lady who is a connoisseur of sorts she has done her due diligence and her homework and can speak fluently about the matter so i want you guys to welcome miss suma stay woke what's up guys how are you thank you for coming on the show now thank you for having me i didn't tell them what we were talking about i just told them it was going to be high vibrational but you're actually a i say a cannabis connoisseur yes. and you have used your platforms to educate people on it and just have a freedom of speech with it. I think that's really cool and outside the box. So for those that are listening and those that are watching, can you tell us who you are and where you're from and what inspired you to be a spokesperson for cannabis and the shroom industry? Okay, well, thank you. First of all, thank you for having me. My name is Soma. You can call me Soma Stay Woke. Uh, follow me on all my social medias throughout my social medias I influence a lot of people through my upbringing really mm -hmm. because you know I'm Hispanic my mom's Mexican my dad's Salvadorian but I was born and raised here in Houston Texas mm -hmm. and with that they see a lot of stereotypes and a lot of negativity but with having grandparents who are elderly and who are sick mm -hmm. and could benefit, I started to introduce them just to kind of slowly microdosing and they got better. Right. Some of them saw a difference. Some of them just prefer to not indulge at all, you right. know. So with that, I just started to see how I can properly educate myself. Mm -hmm. So that way I can start using as well. You mm -hmm. know, I didn't start smoking cannabis until after high school. It wasn't until I got to college. My first time smoking was in college, believe it or not. So it's strange. You know, at first I educated myself on everything on how to properly use. Mm -hmm. So that way I don't get to the point where people say like you abuse mm -hmm. you know you can get to the point where it becomes a bad habit once you can't function without it right. or that's like the first thing on your mind that's whenever you go and take those tolerance breaks mm -hmm. you now, know? i do know that um, and i'm not sure if you're aware that too much cannabis use can also cause gastroparesis which is a problem with the intestine because it relaxes the intestine so much mm -hmm. to where it paralyzes the intestine. So there is a such thing as an overdose on cannabis. A lot of right. people don't even know that. Exactly. So, um, but however, cannabis, marijuana, it helps for a lot of bone joint problems, yes. um, stress, anxiety. You know, I know a lot of people that I've met who were once taking anxiety medication, they just switched out the meds for the trees. So let's talk about it. How do you think the economy can benefit from being more fluent? And if, you know, our, where we are, if they decide to legalize weed, how do you think we would benefit? So this, this is like a tricky situation, you mm -hmm. know, realistically for the market that currently exists, like some of them would see some hardships some of them won't mm -hmm. some of them who are already fully established and have that set clientele are going to continue to be set but the thing once you start to like legalize said you know it becomes exposure to a lot more people mm -hmm. you know and the thing <clears throat> excuse me the thing that kind of pushes a little bit too much for me into that is yes the economy but also 
the EC access it will also become to this younger influence like you know you want to influence but educate them at the yes. same time because like you said you can overdose mm -hmm. there is some negatives to it if you don't properly take care of yourself mm -hmm. and properly indulge or intake you know that's why we I call it microdosing yeah you know microdosing every once in a while or as a treatment following some type of medical instructions like you know, regular yeah. medicine would be, mm -hmm. it kind of works the same way. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to be so tired about it every night. And then right. after you work a long day, you come home, you spoil when you want. That's it. Yeah, simple, <laughs> you, you know. know? <laughs> but, and, and it's something how marijuana has been, like, so stereotyped to be a drug. But, I mean, you can compare. Look, if it's a problem, if you're addicted and you need help, please get help. Yeah. I am not <coughs> encouraging you, and I'm not discouraging you, okay? Yeah. I'm just saying, because I don't want anybody to quote me and be like, well, Nay is, you know, no. pushing it, but I'm not against it either, because I know the medical benefits that it can have and how the pharmaceutical industry would take such a great hit if they started using cannabis Correct. more medicinally as opposed to making it a criminal charge for something that grows from the ground, you know. Right. Um, it's not, you don't have to add, have all these additives that you do with a substance mixture, mixture like heroin or not that I'm so educated, but I'm just saying, you know, it's people that are sitting incarcerated right mm -hmm. now for weed cases. And exactly. it's legal in so many places. So what are your thoughts about that? So there is projects that exist to help fund people who do have those criminal charges. Mm -hmm. And once they do legalize them, some of them even now have came out because mm -hmm. of certain laws that Passed, Texas does yeah. have. So yes, it would help in a way. It would open up a lot more space in those cells mm -hmm. for more high level criminals yeah. yeah and the thing with big pharma they would be one of the ones that would take a big hit Correct. you know because now they will be replacements for it right. and there is a lot more replacements than you know even with marijuana sometimes whenever you take that tolerance break um, part of healing is also looking within mm -hmm. that's also part of the reason why I say microdose mm -hmm. because you get to a certain level of frequency that goes with that higher vibration for today. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to get to that higher vibration and be able to tune in within yourself to be able to figure out like, how am I using this? How can is how is this actually even benefiting me? Mm -hmm. you is that know? Labrador, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. I, it, so it's, it's a clear course. For it's been talking yeah. to me the whole time. I'm sorry. Don't think I'm weird, <laughs> you guys. But yeah, while well, I'm talking to you, we were talking about the vibration. Yes. I saw it kind of glow. I'm like, is that yes, Labrador, right? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. anyway, um, I, now you've actually had a chance to work with artists as well. You had a chance to work yes. with the uh, the Key Glock tour. Yes, right? I the, did a little bit of merchandising for them. Mm -hmm. uh, we did four cities back to back. You know, I didn't work all four cities, but just the experience to be able to work with them back to back, mm -hmm. it was just amazing. And I'm very thankful for all of that. Oh, that is you so know? dope. Yes. Now, you also was able to do some merchandising and promotion for Young Dolph. Yes. Can you tell me just a little bit about that? Through the Young Dolph Museum, I did merchandising for three days straight mm -hmm. from open to close. I was also, I learned a lot. Mm -hmm. I was working amongst really highly professional people that opened my eyes and opportunities for me bigger than I ever experienced. Mm -hmm. And that's, that is what actually led me to work with Keylog, you know, because okay. the same people that I had worked with network and build that personal re work relationship mm -hmm. with them that's what get, was able to just continue to give me more opportunities yeah it's yeah. good the doors <laughs> keep opening you know part yes. of the the main ingredient that people fail to realize is there's an art in showing up yes. you know like we can sit here and we could talk about <clears throat> 
what we want to do, what we're going to do, how we're going to do it, but to actually get up and walk into that yes. room or accept that invite, that's where the yes. gift lies. Because you never know what you're walking into. Right. You could you could be thinking small and the universe could be telling you, think big, right. <laughs> think exactly. big, you know? So, it's crazy that you say that because all the opportunities that I got to work with the, the Dolphin Museum and with Key Glock were all out of my city. Mm -hmm. Like say I'm born and raised in Houston, Texas, but they call me to work in San Antonio mm -hmm. and in Dallas. Mm -hmm. So my, of course my mom was like, no, you're crazy. How are you going to pick up and go? I was like, I just did. Yeah. And I went and like I said, it was one of the best experiences of my life. Yeah. You know, when you have the opportunity, just run with it take it as far as you can yes you never know like she said never know where it would take you i thought it was something small something that i could get my feet wet and never did i think that was going to be in a room full of professionals like mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so congratulations to Thank you on you. that <laughs> that is a awesome way to live outside the box especially when you're educating others you're educating yourself mm -hmm. and you're having fun yes you know what i'm saying you're not hurting ain't gonna hurt nobody no. <laughs> <laughs> so um what was your aha moment that made you want to decide to use your platform and to work in merchandising and to inform others about cannabis and shroom industries and put those dots together for those that are looking for that type of merchandising and promotions what inspired you and when did that happen so originally like i said i really didn't start <clears throat> smoking or consuming cannabis or shrooms until i was in college mm -hmm. so because i was a little bit more educated in how it could benefit me spiritually i started using it to meditate mm -hmm. and to just elevate my frequency and just to heal within myself from mm -hmm. all the past trauma ptsd that follows you along mm -hmm. from that I started to invite my friends mm -hmm. and I started to feel how they would feel. Mm -hmm. They started to tell me the change that they've seen within themselves following my treatment with microdosing and meditating. Mm -hmm. So I was like, let me take it to my platforms. So that's where being like constant on Instagram, constant on my YouTube. I just started my YouTube as part of a podcast as well. And with that, I've been able to connect with a lot more people. Mm -hmm. And of course, there goes that stereotype. Oh, you're a stoner. You know, you're lazy. You don't do anything. Well, guess what? With me being a stoner and indulging with what I prefer to indulge in, I still have these great opportunities. And that's why I do what I do, because this can also be you. Mm -hmm. You don't have to fall into that stereotype. Right. You can do a lot more. Something, like you said, bigger than you. <laughs> There's a lot of people that are still working in corporate America yes. that smoke. Of course, they I don't still admit have a nine to five job. <laughs> because it's like, okay, well, it's not really legal, so I don't really want to admit to it, but right. they do it still, even if they right. do it in the privacy of their home, you know. And some people prefer that over pharmaceuticals because when you take a pharmaceutical pill, you don't know if it's if that pill is going to require another pill because now you have right. to take. <laughs> <laughs> some other medication for yeah. the reaction from the you know what I mean it's exactly. just a, a never in, ending hamster wheel and because Big Pharma and the doctors are in it together they just write you Profit. a slip yeah and b before you know it you have to take a medication forever because they've started you on some type of regimen that if you stop taking it you can't stop taking it right. now I haven't ever heard anyone um, can't live or I've never heard anyone die from overdosing on marijuana unless it was Correct. laced with something. Right. I've never heard of anyone that went through withdrawals like you might get headaches because now you're not doing the microdosing that keeps you mm -hmm. steady. So yeah, your blood pressure might go back up you know, you might start having stress headaches again. You might start feeling that inflammation again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And your mind is going to tell you, oh, I'm going through withdrawals. But if you wasn't doing that, 
you would be going to the doctor and they would be, be prescribing you Something some type else. of drug to to ward off mm -hmm. those those ailments. So I don't stereotype it. I don't think that it's fair that it's stereotype. I think that when it's abused or like if you know selling it put someone's life in danger. I think the best thing that they could have did was start creating dispensaries where you can go in just like going to Whole Foods mm -hmm. and you can see what's out there and you be like, I want that Pick. one and I want that <laughs> one. And then they'll educate you on how many right. grams of THC. Like that was smart. And in the places that did that, it boosted the economy. So come on, Texas, y'all need to go and get with the program because <laughs> y'all slowing us up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real. Honestly, yes. So what do we have to look forward to from you? Something to look forward to me is continue to expand my branding. Mm -hmm. I do work for, I am a brand ambassador for a mushroom company based out in Denver, Colorado. And we're actually going to have a pop-up event here in Houston, Texas. At we, have, we Hustle Houston mm -hmm. Sunday. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, it'll be our first time doing a pop-up and table setup. So that's what I'm looking forward to this weekend. But I do want to continue to expand his company by doing my content creating and influencing people by educating them on the benefits of mushrooms through microdosing, of course. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that way you can continue to heal yourself. Now, I've never, I'm not, I'm not familiar with shrooms. Now, shrooms is more of a, what, is, what type it's of? It's like a psychedelic, delic, psychoactive. Mm -hmm. So there's different types of shrooms. There's some that are non-psychoactive, mm -hmm. which are pure beneficial. You won't see like any like double vision. You won't feel any weary. It's just like healthy Mm -hmm. food for your brain mm -hmm. for your skin mm -hmm. for your own for like your bones just how you would take like vitamins vitamins right. it would be like a vitamin sort mm -hmm. and then you have the psychoactive ones where you use and you can also microdose to then meditate and use as a higher vibration to within connect yourself some people who are more connected and more elevated they get to talk to their ancestors or they get to receive downloads. those downloads mm -hmm. those messages from the universe that mm -hmm. you keep asking but you're too like blind to see right. on your own so it just helps you transition to the 5d yes. faster it, which of course yeah. if you intake too much and you don't know how mm -hmm. to guide yourself through those high peaks mm -hmm. then that's when it becomes an issue mm -hmm. that's whenever people are like oh i had a bad journey a bad trip right mm -hmm. well you just were you by yourself did you know how to properly guide yourself that's why i say first educate yourself mm -hmm. on anything because really <laughs> both depending on yes how you feel can either enhance how you I'm feel sure. so yeah. if you are already depressed and right. you take a psychedelic now you even now you suicidal Right. Now, if you're happy, you take a psychedelic. Now, you might go skipping down <laughs> bits and that. So, you might want to, you know, watch right. that. But at the same time, just educate yourselves yes. for those that are listening, those that are watching on both. But we, I just wanted to come and just get out in your business because I'm yeah. like, okay, she's a your freedom of speech and you represent for the Latin and the El Salvadorian community. Mm -hmm. And right here in Houston, and you're networking outside of your city doing yes. something that's completely outside of the box and having fun while doing it. And so I just wanted to kind of, you know, dig into it and have you on the show. And I'm glad that Callie was able to yes. connect us. Yes. Shout out DJ Callie Royce. Yeah. She's the best. Amazing. Yes. yes, indeed. So for those that are listening and watching and they want to stay up to date on what's happening on underground, tap in, you know, find out about the cannabis industry, they can follow you, your Instagram. What is yes. your Instagram page? My Instagram is og.ssw. I'm most active on there, but you can also follow my YouTube and my Twitter. Now, her Twitter is Soma Stay, Stay woke. woke. 
-hmm. okay? And her, she also have a YouTube page, which is also Susuma Stay Woke. So as she told us earlier, it's a new page. So you can start the journey following her now, mm -hmm. catch up on some of her shorts, hit the subscribe button, click the bell notification so you can be notified when she drops actual episodes of content educating you All guys right. on exactly what it is that she does. This ta this today's segment, Talent Referral, was from the Royce Factory. Shout out to the Royce Factory at marketing. They are doing major things right here in the city and outside, all the way to Atlanta, L.A., Follow them, find out more about their marketing. And today's show was powered by Swan Isle Sea Moss and Beverages. Shout out to Swan Isle Sea Moss. I mean, I'm aging backwards from taking this wildcrafted sea moss. And I want to remind our viewers and our watchers that we are on multiple platforms. You can find us on Anchor, Spotify, Hip Hop Streets, Third Coast TV iHeartRadio, we are everywhere. But what I would love for you to do is come on over to our channel on YouTube, Outside the Box with One. Click that subscribe button. Also, click the bell notification so you can be notified. When we drop a new episode every week, we have over 115 episodes out. Go find one that works for you. I'm sure it's going to be somebody that you know on one of those shows. So come join the journey. We would definitely love to have you and for our content creators out there if you like my content and you want to create your own content go to onestudios.com we have different sets and studios for you to rent and use and create your own content come on come on with me follow this journey and let's be a content creator together I want to thank you so much you. for just coming on and letting me get all in your business and for having such a high vibrational conversation thank you it's such a pleasure thank you for having me oh well we'll have to catch up after the show yes. for those that are <laughs> listening and watching i want to thank you for following the journey you are now plugged in tuned in tapped in to outside the box mm -hmm.